first time in Bebbington. Looking forward to seeing what you've got to offer. Audio Jungle. And we're on. Yeah. So I've come to Bebby Bebbington today where I've never been. I've sat on this bench with Liam. What's your YouTube channel? My name, Liam Simonson. Liam Simonson. And I think either he's got a lot of fans around here because we've just been here for 20 <laughs> minutes and this a woman came up first and asked him about his videos and her husband's just come up and he's just been here for 25 minutes i, I actually think he's, he's staged it um, <laughs> he was right into your video yeah, yeah. wow wow so into him i can't believe it he knew all the ones he had like yeah, yeah. Every he knew better than me i was like hang on he knew from beginning to end so we'd watched them all i started yeah. thinking then you know what i was thinking selfishly then yeah. Oh, I watch that, my videos like that. <laughs> no, but like when day one and stuff, you know, when I, I was telling you, everyone was full of good crap. Um, you know, it was the same. Like, it just picks up, you, you'll get people who watch it, every video, and like, now you've done this video, how many videos got on the channel? 35. 35, yeah. like, you now you do this video, you'll get like a, a new audience, because it's something different. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going around Bennington. I can't believe I've never even heard of Bebbington and, and the, the woman there before said it's a totally number place. Yeah, yeah. Because we're in the top, where I live, Pendle's in the top 10. So we're top 10, so we're not... I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that was mad because obviously I've never seen anyone who's watched my videos other than people I know. I know him and you didn't know him. And he was like, you were like, yeah. you're like a bit of a celebrity with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were, yeah, yeah. I'm celeb. Yeah, well, I'm uh, limited on time on my thing, so yeah. should, we, should we make a move? We've been here for 20 minutes, we were going to have a long chat, but he's got fans, so... Hit that button and start walking. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. So, um, when you're... Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, it's recording. Uh, so, um, just say, like... What you just say? <laughs> you know so it. I'm just going to head to the shop. I am thirsty. <laughs> and... Do you know, I just add this point. I checked his WhatsApp and he looked on his WhatsApp at 0456. 0456, what day is it? What day are we on? Fur this is furlough drinking, this is. What day is it? Not drinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Um. <laughs> We're allowed to drink in furlough, there's not. So, where are we going? Um, getting with the Red Bull and to, to, do, to uh, Charlotte Dodds. Blue plaque, it's, it's a new blue plaque from the greatest athlete of all time. Yeah. Is she? I've never even heard of her. Five women good champions. She, she won loads. Like, she? Quick, not quick, um, Five women good championships um, gone, and she went on to do another sport. She'd done very well at golf. She won an Olympic medal. Some people are brilliant. They're just brilliant. She does look a bit like a boy though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I don't know what was going on there. But like she was so good. When she won Wimbledon at 15, the, the record youngest person, she was in the British Championships. And she played the finalist again, and they gave her a handicap, so she started 15 up down at the no. time and still won. What year are we talking here? What, what? 18. Oh, right, no wonder. <laughs> I was thinking, that I thought it was quite good at my spot. So, this is, this is what we're doing today a walk to Beddington. Go on, Liam, tell me. The, the first US consul in the world was in Liverpool, and they used to come up here on day trips. These guys were so wealthy that when you transferred their pay to nowadays money, they were on a quarter of a million a year. Were they? Yeah, yeah, big, big, big bucks. You eat. This guy knows some facts, doesn't he? He's great. And you won't get that from anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Audio Jungle. That's a good bit of marketing, that is. Where are we at here? Go on. <laughs> the last supper. Yeah, Love it. Not a very good meal, is it? Some great some bread. <laughs> it's a good idea, though. Audio jungle. I just talked about the super fan that he had. He's just pulled over in the car. He's been and bought his a ball for Red Bull. So Bebbington. I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong because he's walked off. Bebbington, what? A, it is number one place in the UK to live. First time I've ever been here and more and more I'm liking it as we walk. <laughs> wow! Here he is, the celeb. 
Ai, mano. I should know Charlotte this, I know. Dodd. Charlotte Dodd. Yeah. So we're here, this is Charlotte's. Might be a bit of a uh, security <laughs> issue. <laughs> I'm still getting... I'm still getting over how kind Phil was before. Phil, you said you were going to look at my channel. You give me a proper buzz for the day that you did that for us. I do that kind of thing and it's nice to see someone else. So thanks for that. So we'll... Uh, maybe you see the plaque. I hope we can. Someone won the Wimbledon five times, it's pretty amazing, pretty uh, great for the area. <laughs> Sunshine, what a day. What a great to be in Bebbington. Probably saying it wrong and you're going to make a comment now, but I think it's Bebbington. It is Bebbington, isn't it? Here's the blue plaque. Five time Wimbledon champion, Olympian, medalist, champion golfer. Champion golf. Greatest athlete of all. Charlotte Dodd. Fact. Fact. Refutable. And I, what, I, I, what, what I like about seeing that is when people are brilliant sports people, they're awesome at everything. Like, was it um, jo uh, Michael Jordan? Yeah. Oh, I'm the best basketball ever. I might play baseball. Oh, I might go with one of the biggest teams in the world and just go over to that. Fleddy Flintoff could have been a footballer. Did the cricket, well. did the boxing as well, yeah. Do you think he could have been a good footballer? Like, uh, I don't know, he's brilliant at sport. He's, when you watch when, when you watch him, yeah, but if you never watch him against Jamie Radnett, who was a sportsman, and when they're up against each other, he always does well, Freddie, and he's got that wants to win. Yeah, I like him. Another Lancashire lad. Cool. Bebbington now is it? We're now in Port Sunlight. Port Sunlight. Oh, I, I literally am totally taken away by how amazing the architecture is. It's beautiful. I've never even heard of it in my whole life, and I feel like uh, I've stumbled on a bit of heaven. Well, I'd lay him. And we're at, is this a Hillsborough? This right here. You can see there. That normally the flowers are alive above. Wow. And if you look just to your right, left even. So, I'm a, I'm a Liverpool fan, so... And I, where I lived, I used to live in a place called Ramsbottom, and I remember someone from where we live was caught up in Hillsborough. He was a young kid and obviously went that day and didn't come back, which is the saddest story ever. It's really nice to be here. Wow. <sighs> B. Looking at all them names on there and thinking about these are the people that died so that I could come here and I could film today and I could live in a country that was free. Makes me feel proud and, you know, really proud. This monument is a reminder for the EU. Oh, every single name on there went and did something for us, every single one of us, and you see people who, I've seen it when people have done things to these memorials, and it really upsets me that they did something amazing for us. They gave up their life for us to live the life that we wanted, and that's, you know, that this, oh, this sums it up completely. Oh, I appreciate every single name on that thing on that. From the bottom of my soul, I appreciate all, everything you've done for us to be able to, have the life that we have. Phil before, we kept going on about the bike and I assumed that that uh, Liam had found a stolen bike and he'd given it back. Different story Liam. Different story, there was, um, I had a bike that like it was just in the way, fairly good one. And I was checking we're all crime watch and there was a kid that got the bike stolen. I contacted the uh, mother. Well I've just put it onto real speed, sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's the right one, sorry. Is it what's in our wheel speed? Yeah, no, it says time warp there. That's real speed. Alright, oh, so. You can just that yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I uh, contacted the mother, I said, Do you want a bike? Um, she was like, Yeah, okay. Do you expect it to be like a crap one? She was like, He's a, he's a teenager, you know, he's a bit. Mm. And then um, 
when I brought it round to them, I was like quite excited to, to mm. give it to them, and they were happy with it. Yeah, that it's a bloody it. nice thing to do. I'm quite yeah. That's, yeah. Hey, but it is no good for me. So yeah, but that's a very kind thing to do. I'm quite shocked by it to be honest. Yeah, like I probably could have got like three, four hundred quid right. just selling it in the condition, but um, yeah, I, I would only spend that money and that'd be gone anyway. So that's, um, that's nice. the idea behind it. So. Uh, over to the right is the tomb of the guy who funded all this, who started it all off, his vision. Created this little town. So we're gonna check that out and then we're gonna head back down. Let's check it out. William Lord Leavyham. Yeah, there's says it there. Obviously his wife and I mean, the statue of his kids, probably. Look, that all marble. All of this place that we've seen in the video was down to the man that's in that tomb. Amazing. Wow. What a ma it's been a mind-blowing day for me today. Because this guy knows loads about making videos. A lot. He's got a lot of stuff about making them, and he keeps showing me, and I'm overloaded with it, and I'm starting to think, I'm never going to make a good video. <laughs> no, it's come down to it, like, you get better and better and better. <laughs> well... Let's see. <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's get let's get this launching. This was a nightmare to set up. I had to buy an iPhone for it. Because um Never ever seen one of these Wait, uh, sundial, and it's actually on the time. So you look down. It's saying now it's twenty to four. <laughs> that is cool. This has like been the coolest day okay. ever. The, the explanation. Yeah, the, the inner circle, summer time, and the outer circle is winter. All oh, right, the inner circles. Yeah, so, yeah, well done. Wow. Wow. Where have you been? It's like I waited all my life. So happy that I found you. I'm paper thin. I haven't always been this shy. But haven't felt this in a while now. So sad when we are apart. When uh, the Lord died, all the staff um, paid for it themselves to get it done. So this guy must have been immense. I mean, just look around. <laughs> this is proper filming there, look. He's going to do his little... <laughs> I, like, I like the little face he pulls as he does it. <laughs> he leaves it in the road every time. <sighs> I need you to need me too. Stay with me when it's getting dark. Hold me tight, closing your arms. I want you to want me too. Why is it so hard to just be honest? Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Why is it so hard to just Lee was saying these were built by merchants. When, when do you reckon? 1800s, when it was really wealthy and affluent. And we had all the trade in the world when we were the most rich city in the world at one point. Now we're just rich in personality and in kindness and it's in, all, all in, in blessings. That's one thing, is it, it's Merseyside, isn't it? Is yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. You got like, I always say Liverpool because I'm a Liverpool fan and I go there, it's a good night out, but it's the friendly, one of the friendliest places in the world. But look at the view the merchants got with this. Wow. Don't forget, um, Liver Building, when where, it was built. Where is it, Liver? 
See the clock? Just oh, of course, of course. It was the tallest building in Europe for 30 years and in the UK for 60. When they were building it, they went to the best architect in London. So we want a building this tall, made of concrete with windows, a bird on top and a big clock on three sides. Whoa. And they got laughed out of town. So they went to the second best architect and built it. And it was the world's first skyscraper of that type, steel reinforced concrete. Wow. Another world fair. This is just to get another reminder that I'm useless at remembering stuff, useless at history. And I found out today that I'm actually useless at videoing because this guy, he's got lots of good ideas, but sometimes you've got to remember that, yeah, you might not be the best at something, but you get better each day that you try. That's what Liam says anyway to me, that the more I try, the better I'm going to get. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that one. Awesome day. It's going to be a two part of this because there's just too much film to fit into one film, but absolutely loved it. Weakness bit. Fly tipping, come on, beautiful That's place. That, that weren't here last time I came. Come on. If any of you watching this are fly tippers, come on. No one likes a fly tipper. Amazing. Right, let's have a little look. I've actually never been round an abandoned house. How mad's this? 43, never been round an abandoned house. And I've already got my first first summer shorts injury going on there. Woo! That's what happens when you do your own stunts. <laughs> yeah. That's true, I normally have a double. This is cool. Wow. So these were designed by the people who lived here. They just got the plot of land and they had specific specifications that they had to design the house to. So these would have been very, very wealthy traders. Bit of bloody horrible racism there. You walk right past it there. What? Let me just tell you, people who write things like that, absolute, no, I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> you missed it, you did it with. Come on. We're in a we're in a we're in a multicultural world now, so accept it that the reason why we're good at sport and we're good at industry is because we're multicultural. People come along and write pathetic little things like that, it's a bit embarrassing. So the only weak point of the whole day, but we'll not let the minority rule us. This is amazing. It's definitely gonna be a two part of this video. There's two more way. Thing is this is like steel, so when was the steel put in? Are we going? No, but we have the first steel reinforced concrete building in the wild town. Do you Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. One other thing I've noticed about Liam, he is very proud to be a Liverpool leader. <laughs> He's come up with a lot of stuff about Liverpool. Wow, this is cool. This is like when I was a kid, all I wanted. There's a lot of infrastructure in it that's new infrastructure, like the steels and whatnot. Like someone's had a go at it. Probably ran out of money, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it came off. <laughs> the sale signs up. <laughs> All oh, right, I've already been down, haven't I? I'm going down. Man, this is... Well, is, it, is it leading out? Yeah, this is leading out. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is how, that's how easy things go, get lost. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you could just go, whoa! <sighs> what a great day I've had. Bebbington, where have I done? Bebbington. Bebbington, Port Sunlight, and then Rock Bebbing, Park. Bebbington, Port Sunlight, and Rock, Rock Park. Yeah. Awesome. 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 And, and the whole of the world's like this everywhere you go. Just like belt at place after belt at place. What's your second name? Simonson. Liam Simonson. He's got to be doing some amazing videos in the world because he's got fans that are coming to him. And he's, ob he's really passionate. You are passionate about it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit rough today though. He's trying to say it's not it's not from it's not from being tired. It's not from it's not from staying up later out, it's just his energy's long. <laughs> <laughs> you just died when I said that though. Hey! No touching that. Here we go. I feel beat, do you feel beat? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. So I've decided to do two two videos today because it's just way too much content for one video. So we've come back to where we're starting and then we're gonna go and see a different place. What's the second place we're going? Port Sunlight. Say again. 
Port Sunlight. Port Sunlight. Going to Port Sunlight now. I'll just leave it rolling now. And now I'll finish off the first one. Yeah. So Be Beddington. Bebbington. Bebbington. Just so in Mayor Park, Bebbington, on the Wirral. Gonna have a look around, talk about some special athletes that grew up here. And I think that'll be it, yeah. What's the lady called, is there? Charlotte Dodd. Doff. Five, five Wimbledon championships. Then thought, yeah, might get into golf. Did she win some at the golf? Yeah. She said she was national champion. Hush. Yeah. <laughs> um, she won an Olympic medal as well in archery, I think. She, she could have a video all to herself. Yeah. She's getting one today. All right, that's. Did you do that one? I got that off a of thing doing that on the. I can make a noise yeah, in yeah. That when, that's when you put your foot in or like you can crop in or. So, end of the day now, we've just come back. I've got an injury. You'll see from the video. Previously, when we had a look around the. Um... What's it? Where was that one? Um, Rock Park. Rock Park, you remember things so well. I'm like the worst video of remembering anything. Great day, loved it, loved the Wirral, loved Beddington. Peach... Beddington. <laughs> Sorry, loved Beddington. Found everyone really friendly. Loved it while we started. Liam had some, um... Liam had a few followers, and he's a bit of a celebrity. And then it was just great from then on, and it was just brilliant. Thanks, I enjoyed it to the max.